music. Mm -hmm. It is the theme to the amazing race. It's so motivating. Yes. All right, last night. The season finale of Around the World Adventure Show. The final three teams traveled to Seattle for the showdown. And for the first time in Amazing Race history, the winning prize was wow. $1 million. So who won? Countries, 19 cities, more than 23,000 miles. Greg and John, you are the official winners of the Amazing Aww. Well, Greg and John Franklin are your amazing race champions. Look at the excitement, and look at the excitement right there. They're I know, still look smiling. At you too. Congratulations. How are you feeling now? Thank you. We are feeling absolutely elated. Pretty tired from watching last night, but like the best kind of tired. But when you first started, did you picture yourself winning? How did the start to finish end as far as your relationship goes and as far as what you thought it would be? I mean, we knew we were going to win. I mean, that's the only mindset that you have to have coming into it. I mean, if you have any doubt, then it starts to creep in. We actually filmed a video beforehand of us talking to our future selves, being like, hey, we know you guys already won, but like, congratulations. Just wanted to say that. So we, we had it dead set. Um, as far as our relationship went throughout the race, I mean, it, I really felt like we got stronger. I mean, the race is something that you never do, obviously, in your day-to-day -day life. So you start to figure out the little things as the race continues. So we started figuring out better ways to communicate and better ways to work together, better like little tips and tricks. So definitely aged like a fine wine throughout the race. What was the most challenging part of the race? I think the challenging part was just like, reading the clue like it, it's so obvious but i think sometimes you are trying to get into a challenge as quickly as possible and this like race mind takes over which makes you take these little mistakes that can cost you and eat at you not only time wise but also like mentally and and looking back at those mistakes so uh it's definitely no walk in the park by any means but um if you really like take your time, what we've heard is that you can walk the race and win it. And so I think that's kind of the mentality we try to have. But I'm so intrigued by this show, and it's a brilliant show. Obviously, that's why it's been around so long. Mm -hmm. What do you do to prepare for the amazing race? I mean, yeah, like Johnny just said, the the race mind you can't prepare for, like that adrenaline pumping you can't, but a lot of things we did were lots of running, lots of physical challenges, lots of puzzles. I brushed up on my stick shift because we knew that that was going to be in there. And honestly, the biggest thing is just watching the race. I mean, you know, they don't repeat challenges, but they repeat the ideas of challenges. So having a good data set in your head of like what they've done in the past and, you know, mistakes people have made in the past definitely helped us throughout the race. All right. Um million dollars what are we what are we doing <laughs> well we're investing a good amount of it not gonna lie but we also want to take our family on a trip mm -hmm. and get ourselves a few goodies Greg wants to get a guitar laptop um maybe even business school grad school oh wow when you take your family on a trip are you going to try and trick them like the show <laughs> and give them hurdles to overcome or is it going to be like a cruise what are you going to do that's an idea. You know what? We might like a little amazing race. Course yes. For the that would be something pretty special. Now, <laughs> how long do you have to you're doing this race and kind of giving life up for this amount of time? I mean, they, they could have told us six months. We would have been OK. I'll sign, sign wherever. We were just so excited. But it was actually only 30 days and oh. our job pretty chill about it about like us taking the time off i mean it's it's one of those once in a lifetime things that you, you know you just kind of make it work but yeah 30 days not too bad greg and john thank you so much for joining us and congratulations, congratulations. i love that you two brothers I, you just seem so close it's really nice to see you thank, thank you for having us appreciate it all right bye bye plus how about the preparation how smart is that know yeah. the show and then the data set. I mean, who says data set when it comes? I mean, that's just smart. Good for them. And making a tape to to talk to yourself, saying, As you know, your future we, won, self. "We won." Very impressed. So, very impressed. Would okay. you do it with your brother? No, because I, you know he's just like really motivated. I'm not. <laughs> like I said, I'd be like, "Time for the cookies." He's a cookie so -so time. Race. Yeah, exactly.